Hello and welcome to the Kaizen Project. I am the Kaizen Man. It's been a while since I've seen you. It's really great to be back. And yes, I did shave. Thank you so much for noticing. Today's video is how to travel like a pro and not be a tourist. Someone that's uh, consistently been traveling for about one or two months every year for the last 10 years, I've come up with pretty good routines, pretty good tips and life hacks on how to travel in the best way possible. While I was traveling, I thought about you guys and I was like, well, who better to share this information with than you guys? So let's talk about what's a traveler and what's a tourist. Now there's lots of differences between the two, but the main difference between a traveler and a tourist is that when a traveler goes to a new place, they try and understand and become part of the local culture. They try and experience what the locals experience. When a tourist goes to a new place, they try and impose their own culture onto the place that they're visiting. My goal is to show you tips on how to be a traveler. First tip, and the most important tip, be respectful. Remember that wherever you're visiting is someone else's home. And I've seen a lot of people forget this entirely when they get to a new place, or peeing in water fountains or disrespecting national monuments. And the question that I ask myself is, you know, if, if you're not gonna do it at home, why do it in someone else's home? This is why a lot of times when you go to a new place, the locals have a bad attitude towards foreigners. And that's because if you're a tourist and you don't respect the local people and their local culture, then you're gonna get pushback from that and then the experience is not gonna be a friendly and welcoming one. So if you want to be welcomed in a new place with open arms, be respectful to the local customs and culture. Because if you don't, you ruin it for the rest of us. Second tip for how to travel like a pro is get a money belt. A lot of people don't know this, but if you're visiting a foreign country, you're actually required by law to have your passport on you at all times. And a lot of countries will impose that law, but a lot of people don't know that and then leave the passports in their hotel safes or their accommodation. And I, and I totally understand that because you don't want to put your passport in a backpack where it can be stolen. The best way to solve that problem is get a money belt that goes around your waist and you can put it inside your pants or your shorts and that way it's safe, it's not going to be pickpocketed and at the same time, if you run into any trouble with authorities, you have your passport and your valuables are safe on your person. Get a money belt. Don't put your valuables in a backpack because I have witnessed myself, you know, in crowded places, people opening zippers, going into people's backpacks. Things get stolen all the time. So be careful, be vigilant. And my third tip for how to travel like a pro is pre-download maps onto your phone. Say you're going to a particular city, say New York, and you want to walk around without looking like a tourist because nothing marks you like a tourist than having a map in your hands and looking around trying to figure out where you are. So if you don't want to be a prey to all the people who are targeting tourists, this is a very useful tip. When you have Wi-Fi on your phone, open Google Maps app and you can actually save the map of that city to your phone. And when you're traveling, you're in airplane mode, you can still walk around and access that map on your phone. And it also tracks your location. So you don't need to be looking at a map, you can just look at your phone and figure out exactly where you are. And trust me, this will save you a lot of hassle. It'll save you from trying to find maps and figuring out the orientation because the phone will do all the work for you. Also, if you're just looking at your phone, you look like someone who's a local. If you're looking at a map, you look like a tourist. So don't be a tourist and get the map on your phone before you go, it will save you a lot of hassle. Having so much fun doing this, I actually am gonna give you a bonus tip as well. And this particular tip has really opened doors and changed how I travel. One of the things I do before I go to a particular country or a city is if they speak a different language there, I look up the basic words or basic greetings that I can say and learn them. Learn how to say hello, learn how to say thank you, please, good night, good morning. Learn how to ask for directions, learn how to ask if they speak your native language. Because when you ask someone in their own language, they know right away that you've taken the time to be respectful of their culture, you've taken the time to learn about them, and it makes them feel a lot more respected than if you just go and ask someone in English. So quick recap of what we talked about. The first tip to travel like a pro is be respectful to the local people. The second tip, get a money belt. Third tip, download the offline maps onto your phone. And the fourth bonus tip is learn key phrases in the local language. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment because I have a lot of travel tips and tricks that I can share with you. And if you like this, make sure you let me know and I will bring you a lot more. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button already. It's been a long time you've been watching my videos. It's time you hit that subscribe button. And remember, this is the Kaizen Project. The journey here is to change for the better. And that's a journey that I'm on with you as well. It's almost the end of the third quarter. So look out for the quarterly progress report coming on soon. Until next time, it's the Kaiser Man signing out.